Welcome to the Tico Times Weekly Digest, where we bring you up to speed as a new week starts in Costa Rica. I'm Alexander Riegas, assistant editor at the Tico Times, reporting from Selena's Hostel in San Jose, Costa Rica. Costa Rica granted Nicaraguan human rights defender Álvaro Leva asylum last week. In an exclusive interview with the Tico Times, Leva said that he's still working to protect human rights in Nicaragua, but that there's a permanent darkness over the country. Costa Rica's plenary court rejected the proposed tax reform bill last week. 11 of 16 justices voted to return the bill to the Legislative Assembly to fix four points that they say affects the judiciary's independence. Four U.S. tourists and a Costa Rican guide died in a rafting accident in Naranjito River in Quepos on Saturday. The river was swollen due to heavy rains and 14 tourists and three guides were involved in the accident. La Celis slump continued after they lost 3-1 to one to Colombia at the Red Bull Arena in New Jersey. La Celis defeated the United States there last year in a World Cup qualifier, but they've only won two out of 17 games since. Our intern, Alyssa Groskopf, wrote about her transformational travel adventure. It included rappelling down waterfalls, visiting blue zones, and personal introspection. If you're looking for a great meal and a bubbly Aperol spritz, Natalia Diaz does some hard investigating and finds both at Buchong. Chef and owner Luis Proti says he's not sure if he mixes drinks as an excuse to eat or eats as an excuse to drink. And on this week's Off the Eaten Path, William Merritt takes us to a Costa Rican cantina with some Brazilian flair. Bari Restaurante Rio de Janeiro offers the Chirio, a braised pork chifrijo that Air says is one of the best in Costa Rica. They also offer buckets of cheap beer. And if you're looking to take a break from the city, why not visit the Caribbean? While you're there, Hotel Banana Azul offers a perfect vacation spot for adventurous travelers looking for a comfortable and calm place to stay. That's it for this week's Digest. I'm Alexander Villegas, assistant editor at the Tico Times. This week's Digest was brought to you by Selena's Coworking. For more news throughout the week, stay up to date at ticotimes.net.